Sometimes when using Seesaw, you can find activities that fit your classroom perfectly. But there are other times when you need an activity and you just can't find it in the community library. That's when you need to create one on your own. Let's see how to do that. First, you're going to click the green plus sign. Then choose Assign Activity. From here, you'll be in My Library, and you're going to choose Create New Activity. Give your activity a name. I'm going to name this one Three Digit Number Chart. Whoops. How about a three instead of a hashtag? And then give your students some instructions. First, they're going to click on, and I want them to click on Add Response. In order for them to have the Add Response picture there, I'm going to put colon, add, colon, and that's going to show the add response button. To find that, we're going to go to Seesaw Icon Shortcuts, and you can see these shortcuts, and this is the code that would give you this icon in your instructions. Then I want them to use the shapes right here. to add hundreds, tens, and ones to illustrate your number. Then click record Actually, it's Mike <laughs> that it will be record. And tell about your number. Click check to turn in your work. If I wanted to add voice instructions, I would click the microphone here, click allow, and begin recording. Click on add response. Use shapes to add hundreds, tens, and ones to illustrate your number. Click the microphone and tell about your number. Click the check mark to turn in your work. Now my students have voice recorded instructions in case they have trouble reading my instructions. Let's add a template for student responses. You'll see that I used Google Slides to create a template for them to draw on, giving them a 100 slot, a 10 slot, and a 1 slot with some samples, 100 blocks, 10 blocks, and 1 blocks. In order to use this template, I would go to File, Download, and a JPEG, and it would give me just this slide. You can see that I have other templates saved in this same document for other types of Seesaw activities. So we are going to click Add Template for Student Responses. 
and we are going to upload. And we can either select from our computer, select from Google Drive, or since it's sitting right here, I can drag and drop and click my check mark. If I wanted to, I could add text or anything else I wanted to add from our drawing board, but I like it as is. I'm going to click my check mark to add it. And then I'm going to click Save. Now I have an activity ready for my students to work on. I can click Assign right from here or wait until a later date.